Hey everyone, it's Nancy and welcome back. First of all, I want to start off by saying please excuse this ugly ass blood. I have tried so hard for it to not look this ugly. And I mean, it looks really great like whenever it's freshly put on, but it literally dries up like this. And like I said, I'm done. I'm just done with this. So please excuse it. <laughs> so for today, I have this cute little lion look with the little <laughs> to it with the blood. Y'all see? Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had so much fun creating this look and I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then you should definitely subscribe so you can see more of these videos. <laughs> so if you want to find out how I create this look, then you should definitely keep watching. So now I'm going to take another brush. Here are some examples of the types of brushes that you can use. These are both flat brushes. As you can tell, they're really flat and like straight. So whenever you start flicking upwards, um, it's going to make the hair look like real, 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 oh god. It's going to make the hair look realistic. So I'm just going to dip it and then I'm just going to start flicking upwards. You have to be patient with it. You can also get the hairs not to just go one way, you can make them go the opposite way as well. It'll make it look realistic as well. I am now done with the eyebrows. This is as good as it's gonna get. So what I just did, it was I just cleaned up the bottom of my eyebrow so it could be really nice and clean at the bottom but really messy on the top since the eye process is pretty long i ended up doing one eye off of camera this is what it's going to look like i just want to start off by saying that i may not be able to explain everything really well i am horrible at explaining but you could just definitely follow along with me and hopefully me showing you how i do it is better than how i explain it because i suck at explaining so <laughs> Let's get started. I'm going to start off by putting the color Golden Oak on the crease. You don't want to put it directly on the crease. You want to put it above the crease and then start blending it out towards the outer part of your eye. Then you're going to extend it downwards as well. Then I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go in to the Meat Matte Nude by the Balm Cosmetics. I'm gonna take the color Matte Rosen. This is my absolute favorite color out of this whole palette. Again, we're trying to make the crease way above our natural crease. So make sure to put the color like really up high and then just follow along the line where you put the first color. And I'm going to go back into Golden Ochre and I'm going to blend those two colors out together. I'm going to take my NYX HD Concealer, this is in the color 04, and I'm going to clean out those edges. And like I said, you want the crease to be up high, so make sure you do it very up high. <laughs> So what I'm going to be doing now is using the same color, Matte Rosen, I'm going to extend it. You see how the crease comes downwards right here towards the nose? So I'm just going to extend it downwards towards the nose so we can have our line of nose. Like I did right here, I'm just going to be extending the color downwards so we can then blend it out with the color Golden Ochre. going to do next is this white part right here. I'm going to be taking the NYX white liquid liner and I'm only going to be outlining with this one because to be honest I hate this product. I just do not like it whatsoever. So I'm going to take this NYX HD concealer and this is a really light concealer for me. It's in the color 02. So what I'm going to do is just place that right there wherever the white is supposed to go.
Okay, that looks about right. So you want to do it while it's still wet, so you kind of have to do this fast. Again, with the Meet Matte Nude palette from The Balm, I'm going to take the color Matte Malloy, which is this white color right here. And I'm just going to put it in that part where I put the concealer. Like I said, you want to put it on while it's wet so the eyeshadow can really stick onto the concealer. So that looks fairly identical. It's definitely not going to come out exactly the same. So now we're going to be doing this black part right here. So I'm going to take the Rimmel London Gleam Eyes Liquid Eyeliner. This is a black eyeliner. And you want to do this with a very light hand because you don't want the line to come out thick. You want it to come out very, very thin. Okay, so you can see that it's not perfect, but I'm just going to go ahead and go on to the next step and then perfect it later. I'm going to connect this bottom part with the white liner. Hey guys, so my camera ended up dying, but I waited for y'all. I did end up fixing this part right here. Next, I'm just gonna do my eyeliner. Um, this is gonna be like a very long eyeliner, cat eye. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this e.l.f. makeup setting spray, and I'm just gonna spray some on my hand. I'm gonna use this flat brush and soak it on there. I'm going to be using the MAC um, Big Bounce Shadow. This is in the color Impeccably Rich. So I'm just going to spread it all over my eyelid. I am going to bring it towards the bottom and blend it in with the white. So then the final touch for the eyes, I'm going to be taking this NYX Roll-On Shimmer. This is the color Salmon and I am going to put it on my lid and then with a the smaller brush, I'm just going to spread it all over the eyelid. So for the nose, I'm going to use this NYX uh, Primal Colors. This is in the color Hot Black. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush just to start making the nose. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the nose like that for right now. I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Since cats, they have like a triangular mouth. So I'm just going to drag this down. And then I'm going to start making a triangle. So once I'm done with this, I'm just going to follow along my lips. So you can go ahead and fill in with this if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and get the same shadow that we were using. So we're not done yet. I did want to end up adding the rest of the black to all of the nose. So I am going to be taking the same color Matte Rosen and then just run it along right here, the black line that we did, and then extend it down. And then blend it out with the color Golden Ochre. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to take the Too Faced a Little Black Book of Bronzers. I'm going to use the color Chocolate Soleil. I don't know how to pronounce that. And contour my face as one normally would. I have 
have such a small forehead and I'm making it smaller. Oh my gosh. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this NYX HD Concealer. This is the lightest color. It's the O2 color fair. And I'm going to put it all along right here. Because we want this part to be brighter. Then I'm going to just blend it out. So with the same white eyeshadow that we were using before, so I'm going to take this e.l.f. small tapered brush and just put the white all around where I put the concealer at. I remember those brushes that we used for the eyebrows. We're going to go ahead and use them again. I'm going to take the color matte wood and I'm going to use that for the lion's little beard that it has around its mouth. So what you want to do is just start flicking the brush everywhere. And make sure that you do like the hair in all sorts of directions, not just like one direction. <laughs> one direction. <laughs> I'm so hilarious. <laughs> That's not the only color I'm gonna go in with. I'm just I'm gonna go in with the color matte rosen as well. Lions do have the little black dots wherever the pores start, I guess I could say. With the eyeliner that we did the mouth, I'm just gonna do some little dots around there. I'm going to go ahead and apply my falsies. So today I'm going to be using Dodo Lashes in the style D105. Yes, I already did use these, um, so that's why they look like that. Let me just tell you a little bit about these lashes, guys. They are mink lashes. They are super affordable, and they look so real whenever they're on. They're literally only 5 bucks. If you do check out their website and you do end up buying some of their lashes, Whenever you're checking out, make sure to apply the coupon code Nancy Freer in order to save some money. The more you buy, the more you save, guys. I'm telling y'all, y'all will love these. I wanted to throw that in for you guys because who doesn't love to save money? I know I do. So for the bottom lashes, I'm going to use some lashes that I have laying around here. I do want to make the mouth kind of like curved because cat's mouths kind of look curved at the end. And I do want to fix one more thing. Um, I am going to extend the little whiskers out more. And for the bottom lip, I'm actually going to use the same MAC um, eyeshadow that we used. And then just put that shimmer on the top of it. And we are all done with this look. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then you should definitely subscribe. And for those of you that are subscribed, I really want to say thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and supporting me. Thank you all so much for watching. Toodles!